everybody. Today we're making rest ease sprinkles for your bed. And I wanted to show you how to make them. So now I'm gonna train the camera down onto the table so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now what, we're, what I've done is, is I have some uh, salt and pepper shakers and I have some baking soda and I have a funnel and a helper for the funnel because it's a powder. Um, gotta get my scoop. This is my scoop for my beeswax. Gotta put that up there. So anyway, <clears throat> and now I'm using one of these uh, fiber fiberware. Um, but it, what we you commonly see these on TV. They were selling them. They were calling them magic bullets. And uh, you can use a blender, food processor, anything with a little blade that will help turn it around. And so what we're gonna do is is we're gonna fill up a measuring cup with a cup of baking soda. And I have heard of this being made with cornstarch, but cornstarch is much more gritty, and I'm not as fond of it as I am the baking soda. And so then we'll pay, uh, pour our cup of baking soda in here. And now you can double, triple, tri triple, uh, whatever the recipe. And then, we are going to take and add, oh, the light in here. On your little pipe, it, it's the, um, here we go. We're gonna add this much lavender, okay? And we'll do it off in drops so that, so that y'all know how much it is. Okay, so this is Essential Depot Lavender, and if you want the best lavender in the whole wild world, this is where you go. Um, their lavenders is from, uh, a, they're a Green Life company, so it's a Green Life source. Um, they're very particular with what they provide you. You will not smell a candy lavender like you will with Now brand and many brands that add a touch of peppermint to, to make your nose happier by making it all candy flowery smelling. You're going to get 100% what came out of the machine when they were uh, steeping um, the oils from the from the flower uh, of from the lavender. You're, it's unadulterated, 100% pure, exactly the way God made it, with a little help from man when we distilled off the oil of the plant. And so, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So thirty drops. Um, and you'll see that just sitting on the top. Then if you're using one of these, uh you can uh put this on there and then you wanna shake it so that the lavender doesn't hit the blades. And so now, the most awesome smell of lavender is now um, permeating uh, the uh, uh, the cornerstone market. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> and so now we'll just take our shaker. Well, it's filling up pretty good. Sometimes though, it's good to have a little something to get the excess down in there. Tap it down, 
and then you can wipe off your lid. Now you want to be sanitary with this, but this is not going to be eaten or applied, uh, whatnot. So I, I alcoholed my containers and I washed my hands and used uh, in Dawn and bleach water and and you pretty much fill it to the top and then when you tap it down to get the air out of it it goes down to about the right level and uh, you can do this a couple different ways one you can put some plastic under the lid or you can just tape over the top of the lid. I'm going to leave one open for people to smell. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm just putting a little piece of tape over the top. And so let's go ahead and pour up the rest of the rest of these. I, my containers did not tell me the ounce size. So I wasn't sure. how many ounces they would hold but it it looks like I might get four done with a cup no nope. but if you wanted to you could reduce the level slightly these look like they're two ounce containers so it looks like I got two and a portion and I'll fill this one back up with my next batch. And you can do this with lavender and lemongrass. Both of them are benign. Please don't do this with cinnamon. Uh, <clears throat> cinnamon is very sensitizing. We do not want people rolling around in cinnamon and getting all irritated in their bed. And they can apply this above or below the mattress. I mean, the... the uh, pillowcase and the sheets um, and then just like you vacuum your mattress from time to time uh, to get rid of dust mites and dry skin flakes that's fell off in the mattress you do the same with this I'm told that lavender is also good for actually killing dust mites that's in your mattress but whether that's true or not I cannot promise uh, just heard it was true uh, so you could use uh, lavender and you could use uh, lemongrass. Um, I would not use peppermint because you don't remember people are going to be rolling around on the bed uh, and this will come in contact with their skin to some degree. So, uh, but the lavender is what I'm going to call uh, rest at ease mattress sprinkles. And so that's what we're going to call this. So now let's make a, a uh, sticker for this. Okay. I'm going to try to do this with the tripod between my legs and in between the, you know, the, the computer and me. So you can see this well, but if I bump the camera, I am sorry. So I have downloaded this template, um, which is for these uh, two by two labels uh, from uh, Planet Label, where I bought the labels. And I think they have the best prices, by the way. Uh, and so first thing I'm going to do is put corner stone mark market and then above that I'm gonna put well there we go and now it's doing mean things okay so I'm gonna put um, rest at ease Mattress, I think I must have put too many S. Mattress, no. Let's see what Google says about it. There we go. Mattress sprinkles. S P R I N. No, S P S P R I K. Sprinkles. I didn't get that right either. I think there's an I in there. There. No, not sparkles. Oh, I got it right that time sprinkles and then I'm gonna put C 
essential oil. And then I'm going to highlight it all and hit the thing to make it be in the center. And then I'm going to make this larger and I'm going to use uh, Arial Black because Arial Black always makes me happy. And should have changed all of that to Arial Black. Okay. And then I'm going to, whoop, undo that. There we go. Then I'm going to highlight this one and make it purple. No, that don't look purple enough, does it? Oh, that looks like a pretty purple, but it's still too dark. Let's see. There we go. Now we got a purple. Okay. And I'm going to make the name bigger. Maybe 14. I accidentally put a period in there. And then I'm going to copy it. And I wonder if that, that just, no, it just won't, to, just won't go up there. So I might make the mattress sprinkles uh, 12. See if that'll go up there. There we go. And then I want to put a space between Cornerstone Market and a space between Rest at Ease mat mattress sprinkles. And, and so now I'm going to just copy that and paste it and paste it and paste it and paste it. Whoop. Paste it. Paste it. And there we go. And then I'm going to save as in normal labels. I'm going to change this to There we go, Mattress Sprinkles Lavender. And then we'll tell it to print. And for mine, you have to turn them upside down in the printer. And I take all paper out, just put those in there, those all on. And So let's see if it'll, oh, I gotta tell it to print one more time. They always hit the floor with my printer. Okay, and so now we have our labels. Let's take them over and put them on our bottles. Okay, so now we'll just peel off a label. And I could have actually put more words, but I, I'm new to these labels. And they're going to curl around my bottle just a little bit. And...
I should have put the price on there. Things to do, things to do. All right, so now I can put these on the shelf. I have one tester, and I'm, I can write, I'll write tester right here so they can smell it. And then I'll make up the rest of these and put them on the shelf for sale. So there you go. That's how you do it. Okay, there they are, right on the shelf. Rest at ease mattress sprinkles with tester. And I ended up not having one all the way full, so I thought that was a perfect tester. People can put it in their hand, feel what it feels like, <sighs> smell the heaven. So, and you just sprinkle those on your mattress. Um, and um, ever so often, give it a vacuum. I like the baking soda because baking soda deodorizes. Plus, we're adding a wonderful scent that will help you sleep at night. So there you go. Rest at ease. Mattress sprinkles. I think that's such a cute name, too. All right, everybody. Now, if you would like to see more videos, all of our Cornerstone videos are on www.cornerstone-market.com. And if you would like to see our how-to videos, uh, go to our Soper's Resource webpage, www.kimberlymagnutmcnutt.com. Kimberly Magnet. Dot com and uh, you can see all of those including free recipes and we are having soap making classes and this month we're having them on the 15th and another Saturday and there's two of them one is a little bit more pricey because we are, you are actually going to be making soap yourself so you are getting a, an essential depot Kimberly's floral spirit lifter kit and you get to take the mold home with you, of course, and all of the soap in the mold that you made with your kit. Plus, there's a fee for taking the classes. And then there's another class this month in which you will just be watching me make soap. And, of course, all throughout the whole process, there'll be time for question and answers, picking my brain, all that wonderful stuff. So if you're interested in taking a class with me on how to make hot process soap, then you just feel free to go to www.cornerstone dash, that's a little dash like in a phone number, market.com. All right, and thank you for using my Essential Depot link, and thank you so much for watching my commercials. It helps me out tons. Oh, and it looks like we have a customer.